Hi, my name is Joel Solomon. I'm a prosperity coach. And today we're going to be talking about money. Well, generally we're talking about money. But today we're going to be talking about what is money. In my upcoming book, we talk a lot about unconventional money rules. When we're talking about rules, we'll be talking about unconventional. So today we're talking about what is money. So to me, money is just credit. It can be brought into being by a contract between two private individuals. It can also be brought into being by a bank. In fact, some of you may know John Maynard Keynes, an economist from the 1920s. He made this assertion that banks create money and that there is no specific limit to their ability to do so. Now, in today's day and age, with all the regulations, there actually is a limit to what the banks can create, but without those regulations, there would be no limit. Now, however much the banks lend, the borrower has no choice but to put the money back into the banking system. And thus, from the perspective of the overall banking system, the total number of debits or debts and credits will cancel out. Now, for me, money's just a yardstick. But then the question is, what does it measure? It measures debt or credit. A coin is just effectively an IOU, whereas conventional wisdom holds that a banknote is or should be a promise to pay a certain amount of real money, whatever that may be. Credit theorists argue that a banknote is simply the promise to pay something of the same value as an ounce of gold. And that's all money ever is. But let's think about that gold coin. The gold coin is a promise to pay something equivalent in value to the gold coin. After all, the gold coin doesn't actually have any usefulness itself. So, if you're doing a transaction with that gold coin, it's because you assume that someone else is actually considering that value the same as yours. So in this sense, the value of a currency is not the measure of this specific object, but the measure of one's trust in other human beings. So, money isn't a real thing at all. It's just a yardstick that measures mathematically how one compares one thing to another. Some two of X is equivalent to five of Y. So, from that point of view, money is probably as old as human thought. Now let me end it there. I hope you guys learned something today about money. We'll be talking a lot about money in my book, Unconventional Money Rules. The rules, the money, the unconventional aspects of it. We don't have a title yet, but if you guys who have been watching week after week have some suggestions, love to hear. Because you've seen a lot of the videos, the key themes from the book already. This book will be coming out next year, 2019, and you can leave your comments or questions below or at joelsolomon.com or solomore.com. That's S-A-L-A-U-R-M-O-R.com. Thanks for watching. I believe in you.